So what's your name? Veronica. Okay, nice to meet you, Veronica. I got a question. Are you a homeowner? Yes. Okay, so what is your lot size? I uh, don't know. Oh, she doesn't know her lot size, guys. Hey, chicks. In today's video, we're talking about lots. So if you want to know about lot sizes, how to choose a lot, and lot premiums, then stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. As we spoke about in our video, contract to build a home, when you go to sign your contract to build the house, you will be choosing your lot location. In today's video, it is my goal to make sure that you understand more about lots and how to choose a lot before you leave. So if you'd like to hear more, then please stay tuned. Hi, I'm Crystal with Nest Builders Realty Team, brokered by EXP Texas and I am a new construction specialist. It is my goal to help busy professionals find or build their new construction properties. If you'd like to know more about new construction or new build homes or Houston real estate, then please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit the like button to this video so that I can know to give you more content similar to this. Before going into the different things about the lot. I wanted to show you the beginnings of a new section of Cane Island here in the Katy, Texas community so that you can see the before of how lots are laid out. Then we're going to talk about how to measure the size of a lot. Measure rectangle and square lots and multiply the width boundary by the length. To find the area of a triangle, simply multiply the height of the triangle by its base and then divide the result by two. Add up the area of each shape in order to find the total size of the property lot. Use these numbers in order to find the area of the lot. In many new home communities, you may find something that looks like this. Next, we're going to talk about a few different types of premium lots. Next, we're going to talk about premium lots. A premium lot is a special lot that is a little bit different from other lots in the section of the community in which you're going to live in that has an upgraded charge. For example, a premium lot may be found on a cul-de-sac. A cul-de-sac lot has only one way in and one way out. In local Houston area neighborhoods, you may find a sign that is similar to this one. Another type of premium lot is a water view lot. Here in Houston, there's not much in terms of views. You may have something like a city view or more popular in the suburbs um, where the new construction homes are built. You may find a waterfront type home. Waterfront type homes in the areas look more like local waterways or retention ponds that are built by the developer. The next type of lot where you may experience a lot premium is a gated community. There are several benefits to buying a home in a gated community, but we're just going to give you a few. A few of those benefits are privacy, less traffic and upkeep. But one of the downsides to buying a home in a gated community is typically your homeowners association fees are higher than those who live outside the gates in that same community. Next, we're gonna talk about how the floor plan chosen affects the lots. First, we wanna talk about the developer again because we can't forget that he is the one who ultimately determines where lots are built in the neighborhood. In many homes in the area, the developer determines the repetition pattern for floor plans in the neighborhood. In addition to this, you will find similar lot sizes grouped together. You will find this for several reasons. A few of those reasons are uniformity of the neighborhood, and to keep up the property value for homeowners who decide to build in those neighborhoods. I do want to provide a few tips for you who will be choosing lots in the near future for your home. You have to think about, do you want a large backyard? Are you looking for a home with low maintenance yard? Are you looking for a home with a, are you looking for a home with a low maintenance yard? 
Are you going to garden in your backyard? What is your budget and what size yard does your budget permit you to buy in your desired neighborhood? Consider the size of the home that you're building by square foot and compare that to homes that have similar square footage and similar lot sizes that you're considering. In this video, we've covered a lot of information on lot sizes. In this video, we've covered a lot of information on lot sizes in new build homes. If you'd like to know more, then please feel free to reach out to me at 832-655-8368 or leave your questions and comments in the comment box below and I'd be happy to answer that for you. I thank you guys for watching. Again, if you'd like to see similar videos, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And if you have any topics that you'd like for me to cover about new build properties in the Houston area or about new build properties in general, please leave those also in the comments. I love to hear what you would like to hear from me. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. In <laughs> with, and I'm just gonna scratch my ear, sorry.